Dear student of class 10, I am Shariful Islam, your biology teacher. In my last class, I was discussed about the chapter 13, Environment of Life. This class, I discussed about the concept of ecosystem, interrelationship between the elements of an ecosystem. And shortly, I discuss about the food chain. Today, I discuss about food web, nutrition flow in ecosystem, energy flow in the ecosystem, relation of energy between trophic levels, concept of energy pyramid, and last, effects of energy pyramid to keep food chain in limit. At first, I want to say about food web. In most cases, the same consumer can be placed in different traffic levels. This way, some food chains collectively may form a net or web-like structure. This is called food web. This is a phenomenon for both the terrestrial and aquatic ecosystem. This concept can be made clear by thinking of a pond ecosystem. Like, this is a figure of a food web. There are many food chains. This is present in a present in a pond ecosystem like there is producer LG first line consumer zooplankton or small fish zooplankton consume producer and also small fish consume producer and zooplankton and then the second line of consumer is big fish. Big fish also consume zooplankton and small fish. Then the tertiary level of consumer or top level consumer hawk it consumed big fish and small fish and that is why there are formed a many types of food chain so this collectively food chain is called a food web like in the diagram above it is found that primary producer algae directly provide zooplanktons and small fishes with their food. Both the small fish and big fish eat zooplankton as their food. Big fish and small fish also consume zooplankton as their food. This big fish also eat the small fish. A hawk eats small fishes and some other fish, small members of the big fish belonging to the same species. Here, 
five organisms have developed food chain in different ways. This way, more complex food web can be developed in different ecosystem than the food web developed here. Like number one, algae, small fish, and hog. A food chain, simple food chain. Then algae, zooplankton, big fish, and hawk. This is another food chain. Then algae, small fish, big fish, hawk. This is another food chain. And algae, zooplankton, small fish, hawk and at last algae zooplankton small fish big fish hawk they are form five another food chain above the steam a Food web in a terrestrial ecosystem may be follow following. This is a terrestrial ecosystem and this is a aquatic or pond ecosystem. Terrestrial ecosystem shows green plant, its producer, rabbit, insect, snail, deer also first line consumer human being also toad is second line consumer lizard snake is a third line consumer and then peacock and tiger the top level consumer and uh, there are many food chain in the steam about 8 to 10 food chain in this figure you have to uh, make a flow chart on the stem how many food chain form in this figure it's a personal activity uh, to you there write down the food chain in the food web mentioned in the figure 13.04 you have to prepare a chart of food chain in the food web mention this food web okay then I have to say about nutrition flow in ecosystem plant produce food through the photosynthesis process after obtaining necessary or inorganic substance a plant use a part from the food it produce itself and the remaining food is stored in the plant body in different form herbivorous animal eat this plant and carnivorous animals eat the herbivorous to consume fruit or carbohydrate after the death of these plants and animals decomposers transfer them into inorganic substance by using them as their food and the decomposer return the substance to the states from where they are taken green plants obtain these substance and again use them 
in producing food. The cyclic movement of nutrition materials is called the nutrition flow. The flow of nutrition materials through food chain is a unique character of ecosystems. This is a figure or chart of the flow, the nutrition and energy. First nutrition, then uh, I delivered about energy flow in ecosystem. The flow of energy start uh, not sunlight from producer. Producer can produce food using sunlight with the help of chlorophyll and presence of light. The photosynthesis process make glucose type food and this food contain uh, nutrition and this nutrition directly consume herbivorous plant animal herbivorous animal after death decomposure make them easier and store of nutrition and this nutrition also goes to again producer herbivorous can be consumed by carnivorous carnivorous after death also decomposer make them easier and back to nature and this nutrition goes to producer and also herbivorous and carnivorous spend some energy or spend some nutrition in respiration this respiration also goes to environment and then it also make a simple form and finally it goes to natural and absorbed by producer and in the same way the energy flows also show the same chart sun is the main source of energy we can start from our text the sun is the main source of energy in any ecosystem from the amount of light and heat heat energy that reaches the planet earth the green plants store only 2% of the received energy through photosynthesis. Heat and chemical energy produced by photosynthesis are primarily stored as carbohydrate for the requirements of the next stage of ecosystem. This energy stored in plants reaches different trophic levels through different kinds of food chains. The energy again comes back to the environment through the terminal acts of the decomposers. The herbivorous animals, consumers of first level, maintain life by eating leaves, stream, flowers, fruits, seeds or roots of green plants. This is herbivorous. The way to chemical energy produced in clean plants 
which is herbivorous animals. The carnivorous animals who live by eating the consumers of first level are the consumers of the second level. First level consumers are considered as herbivorous animals. The chemical energy from the consumers of the first level is transferred this way to the bodies of consumers of the second level. The chemical energy from the consumers of second level reaches the consumers of third level in the form of food. If any other superior consumer eat the consumers of the third level as their food, the energy reaches the consumers of the top level. After death, procurement of energy is stopped in all the organisms. Then the chemical energy stored in the dead bodies comes back to the environment in the form of inanimate substance and energy after being broken down by the activities of consumers. The energy stored in different inanimate substance of the environment becomes suitable for the plant to use again. And this way flows of natural energy in ecosystem is continued. Some energy gets wasted in energy level of all types of food chain. The herbivorous consumers does not store the exact amount of energy which it produces from the producer of green plants. The amount of nutrition that a consumer of the second level obtained from the herbivorous consumers does not even reach its own bodies as some of the energy is released into the inanimate environment. This way, at the time of transferring food from one organism to another, much energy goes out of the system in accordance with the principles of the ecosystem. This is why if in an ecosystem the number of traffic level is low, energy must decrease accordingly. Now, the next topics are relation of energy between traffic level. Uh, there a food chain start from a producer green grass, then first level consumer grasshopper, second level consumer toad, then snake and the top level consumer uh, gooey snake. This is a level of food chain another part of food chain this is also food chain also a food chain and last gooey snake is a food chain different stages of food and uh, feeding or that is uh, producer and predator every step is called trophic level there is one two three four Five, five topic level. Every topic level spent many amount of energy uh, 
I also write down another food chain like as grass grass or algae then small fish and then how there is another trophic level one two three ultimately energy flows by this type on type flowchart the decreasing energy is more than the decreasing energy of two five topics level decrease more energy than three topic level every step of a food chain is called trophic level each of the levels like as primary producer primary consumers of the first level consumers of the second level and the consumers of the top most level is a trophic level so there is uh, every step of food chain is called trophic level it's a trophic level another trophic level another trophic level and put and uh, both of them at different trophic level and there is a five trophic level and then one two three third trophic level the producer presents the first or the lowest level in an ecosystem producer is the first level of ecosystem or, or low level of ecosystem the herbivorous consumer consumers of first level are the respective of the second level trophic level this way carnivorous animal of both the higher and the lower level represent third and topmost tropic levels respectively some of the energy collected from the sun in the producer or in the lowest tropic level of any food chain goes out in every consecutive step as heat energy as a result it is found that the energy of producer collect from the sun is reduced when reaching the second tropic level the amount of energy is reduced again when reaching the topmost tropic level generally in any ecosystem 10% of the stored energy is transferred from one tropic level to the another and remaining 90% of energy is released as heat in the atmosphere or remain used this is 100% energy flows the next tropic level only 10% and 90% of energy used energy is released as heat in the atmosphere or remain used the next tropic level flows only 1% energy that is called 10% of 10 and then the next tropic level snake 0 0.1 0 0.1% tropic level and the next percent kuisha 0.01% energy from total 100% energy this is five step of energy this result may arise in five level energy and here hundred percent energy can transfer next level of trophic level ten percent energy and then one percent energy it's it show that uh, last step of 
food chain that is uh, that is uh, higher level of trophic level it get 1% energy from the producer that was 100% energy but the previous food chain gui snake get only 0.01% energy from same amount 100% energy from producer level so step of a uh, food chain more and more release energy and step of food chain low level low level and a low level food chain release low amount of energy and the last step of food chain or food group get more amount of energy then the next concept concept of energy pyramid the narrow apex of the uh, three dimensional structure based on its triangular base is called a pyramid this is a definition of pyramid you have to learn attentively the structure of trophic levels in an ecosystem is shown with the structure of a pyramid the chart describing the arrangement of energy store and transfer of every nutrition level connected to food chain is called the energy pyramid the amount of energy is much higher in the level of producer than in the next trophic level the organism of higher trophic level then those who lower trophic level lose more energy for respiration and other activities this is why the producer and the topmost consumers are placed on the base and at the top of the pyramid respectively our last topics for today's effect of energy pyramid to keep food chain in limit the flow of energy is always undirectional this energy flows can never be turned around about 90% of energy is reduced in every stage the ever increasing loss of energy limit the size of a food chain to four or five stays the longer a food chain is the more energy is reduced in the higher trophic level and at one stage there would be no energy left this show a energy pyramid or a trophic level all green plants phytoplankton it is called first level of trophic level we can say this is producer 100% energy or nutrition can goes from producer level to second trophic level second trophic level equal to first level producer sorry first level consumer they get only 10% energy from producer level and then third trophic level that is second level consumer get only 1% energy from 10% energy as first level consumer and then fourth trophic level or top level consumer
this is 0.1% energy. 0.1% energy is so little than the 100% energy. But if the trophic level is uh, if the sh uh, shorter than fourth stage or fourth trophic level, uh, if it would be three stage trophic level, then the top consumer can get 1% energy than 0.1% energy that is 10 times more. Uh, this is a uh, energy pyramid or flow of energy, flow of energy percentage in topic level. Student, I try to discuss in my class about food web. This is a food web and there is many food chain, many food chain collectively called food web. This is a terrestrial food web. There, uh, uh, there is many food chain in this group. And nutrition flow, energy, energy flow, relationship between trophic level. I also discuss about trophic level, and also the flow of energy in most trophic level. So thank you very much for your participating in our online class. Goodbye.